Hey guys, I am the nose job, and as I promised, I have a little demonstration today. Uh, if the video appears laggy, just randomly, I'm uh, sorry about that. I have no clue why, but it's been uh, dropping some frames pretty bad lately, so I, I have no clue why I'm not doing anything different. <coughs> but uh, there's there's a problem going on. So what we're going to be doing is, um, well, what I'm going to be doing is the Fibonacci sequence. And if you haven't heard of that, it's, well, kind of an algorithm where you find the sum by adding the two previous numbers in the sequence. And it usually starts out with 0 and 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So now the sequence is 0, 1, 1. To find the next sum, you add the two previous numbers, 1 and 1, that gives you 2. And then to find the next one, you add the two previous, 2 and 1 gives you 3, 3 and 2 gives you 5, etc. So that's what we're going to be doing. And um, so I'm just going to stick a 1 in here. Um, yeah, right now, there is no possible way through software to uh, input data, so for now you just kind of have to break stuff. <coughs> okay, so I'll break that. That'll be our one once I save it, like so. That writes it to the register, and now it's safe to replace this because the one is already in there, as you can see right here. So that's in there, then everything else is zero. So what we're going to do is come over here and uh, put in our opcode for addition, which is 1101 bit 13. So there's that. And uh, what I've added over here, uh, it's not really a part of the CPU or anything. I just uh, took all of our data outputs and bust them out here to make it a bit easier to see instead of looking at all that stuff crammed together. And um, the data is backwards from this angle, so this is the least significant bit. That over there is most significant. So here we have our 1, because 0 plus 1 is obviously 1. Now what we can do is uh, write that to a random register. I'm going to write it eh to 7 because that is the uh, quickest register to <coughs> access. Then we'll save that and what we're wanting to do is take that value and add it together twice now. So we'll select bit 7 here, enable it, and down here we'll also select bit 7. Oops and enable it. And now what we have to do is come back over here to our uh, input register and <coughs> write to it again. And now we should have a 1 and a 1 going into the ALU's input and we still have add here. So we come over here, take a look, and there's our 2. Now this time we're going to need to <coughs> write it to a different register because you can't overwrite the uh, previous number because we still need that. So I'm just going to put that in uh, address 6 there. And now what we're going to do, we're still going to need to read from 7, but we're also going to need to read from 6. So that's going to give us um, 2 in input y and 1 in yes 1 in input x so we come back over here we write again and you'll see we have 3 uh, in case you don't know how binary works uh, the least significant bit is a 1 it's a base 2 numerical system so um, you have to uh, what am I trying to say? Carry over whenever uh, you exceed the 
value that can be achieved with the amount of bits you have. So this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on all the way up to 32,256? No, two thousand or thirty-two thousand five hundred and thirty-two, I believe. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember at the moment. But anyways, two plus one is three, so that's how you have three there. Now what we're going to do is write that back to number seven because we still need uh, the value two, which is stored in six. So we'll do that. We can still leave the read functions as they are because uh, right now this is 3 and this will be 2. So now, and there, there, there you can see what I'm talking about with the horrendous lag. I just dropped to 9 frames per second there. Yeah. Okay, we write that in there. <clears throat> now we should be getting a 5. Oh, look at that. 6 frames per second. This is. This is amazing. But you'll see now that uh, bit 1 and bit 4 are on. So 1 plus 4 is 5. And yay, more more lag. This is this is amazing. Yeah, I don't I don't have a clue why it's doing this. I used to run at uh, 30 frames per second just just fine, but now I'm very lucky if I hit that for even a split second. I'm usually running at about 20 most of the time, then it dips down, and right now it's just kind of hanging out around 10. Yeah, this is this is horrible. I don't even I don't even know if I should put this video out at this point, but whatever. I don't even I don't even care. It's not going to get much better than this, so um, I'm I'm really sorry, guys, but I guess we'll all just have to deal with it. Uh, I spaced off pretty hard there. Okay, we need to write this to uh, location 6 now. Now I'm going to fly back over here, which you probably won't even see. It'll probably just look like a teleport or something. I don't know. Uh, we write that in again. And now we'll be getting an 8, so we're only going to have a single bit on. That'll be the fourth one right here. So, yeah, you, you're, you're starting to... Uh, see how this works now. I'm just going to add one more just because I can, I guess. Um, yeah, I couldn't really think of anything else to demonstrate right now. This is just, you know, a demonstration of the uh, adders, so it's not anything that crazy. And you see here we have 13. 8 and 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that's how that works. I guess, um, real quick, what I could do is just show you that uh, other functions actually do work, just for the heck of it. Um, okay, uh, let me think for a second here. I don't remember what we had in location 6 now. Well, let's just uh, read from both. And I'll do... something. You know, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to write something completely new to it, actually. So we have that in... Um, seven. So I'll just come back here and I will uh, let's see what should I do. And I'll leave that one one. Then this this will be whoops. This will be I'll put a zero in there. Yes. Or I mean a one. Yeah, let's, let's just let's just do that. I'll just show you that um, 
XOR actually works where bit 2 will be the only thing actually showing. <coughs> I probably should have uh, came up with some actual demonstrations for these two, but was not really thinking about it at the time. I just kind of had this one picked out. It's uh, pretty pretty popular for people to show off the Fibonacci sequence for um, some odd reason, so I just decided to uh, hop on the bandwagon. Oh, what did I do there? Oh, we were still reading stuff. Oops. I, that was that was my derp. I apologize for that. Um, you know I I'm I'm at four frames per second now, and it's not getting any higher. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end it now, and maybe do another video later. <coughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll try to get some more of these out. Oh, look at that! Perfect timing. It's raining. Anyways, I'll I'll see you guys later.